Hey GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report with a review of the Streamlight Siege X USB LED Rechargeable Lantern. Hey guys, this is Cinnamon from the Foxy Lady, and you're watching the single handed greatest outdoor review site on the internet Gear Report. Wait, what? Oh, I was supposed to say my name. Oh, okay. Hey guys, this is Trey with Ghost Tactical, and you're watching the single greatest outdoor gear review site on the internet, Gear Report. If you've camped as many years as I have, then you've seen the evolution of lanterns, lighting sources for your campsite from like fuel oil lamps, like a, a kerosene lamp, through the propane cylinder type lanterns. I actually had a couple lanterns that had CFLs, the compact fluorescent bulbs, and rechargeable battery packs that for the time were phenomenal, so much more convenient than having to deal with silk mantles, tying them in place and getting them charged just right so that the light and having glass globes around the fuel lantern or propane lantern. So we move up to a bit more modern times. You know, a couple years ago, we got this from Streamlight Super Siege LED lantern. This is 1100 lumens. It has an 8800 milliamp hour battery. We've got a variety of modes on this model. Like on the white, we have a low, a medium, a high. If we hold the button, it switches over to red. We have a low and a high. And then one more in SOS mode. So let's hold the button to go back to white. You can see the button's green. That means we're fully charged. If it turns amber, we're getting low. If it turns red, we're about out. There are hooks on the top and hooks on the bottom. Why am I telling you this? We're not reviewing this. I guess we are kind of reviewing this. We, we get a bonus. In order to get you up to speed on the new one, I got to get you up to speed on the old one. Hooks on either end. We've got another hook here. All right, we've got some rubber armor around the top and around the bottom. On this particular model, the Big Daddy, the Super Siege, uh, with that 8800 milliamp hour battery, we've got a USB out port here. This one is the in where you plug the charging adapter. Uh, but you can actually plug in a USB cable to charge a phone off of this, all right? This is where we're coming from, right? The Big Daddy, the Super Siege, all right? So when that came out, their smaller model was the Siege AA. You see a similar look and form factor. The Siege AA is missing something that I really like, and that's this plastic sleeve that wraps around, I guess we call it the globe here, the, the diffuser, so that you can have that facing you so the light's not in your eyes and you're lighting other stuff, right? So we don't see that here on the Siege AA. And as far as light modes, we've got a low, a medium, a high. When we go to red, we have a low and an SOS. We don't have a, a low and a high and then SOS, just a low and an SOS. Let's move back to white. All right, we still have the same coloration in the button to tell you the status of your battery. The batteries in the Siege AA are three AA batteries that you install from the bottom. All right. So they can be disposable batteries, they can be rechargeable batteries. We happen to use rechargeable batteries here. This is a whole lot smaller and lighter and easier to carry with you than the Super Siege. So then we go to the most modern iteration here from Streamlight, also called the Siege. This one is the Siege X, and they call it Siege X USB because I'll, I'll get to how you charge the battery by a USB. This has got a couple interesting additional features. So we got the same rubber armor on the top and around the bottom, and we've got the same button that glows behind to show you the power level. It's green, so our battery's good. We have on the white light that's low. Let's turn it back on low, medium, high. We'll hold it to switch to red. So we have the red and we have the SOS. All right, so again, we don't have a low and a high, and then SOS, we go from low to SOS, and that's it. So let's move back to white. Ah, but we don't go back to white like we did with the Siege AA. Now we go to a focus beam flashlight. This is a 300 lumen light. The lantern is about 325 lumens. So we have a little bit of additional flexibility with the way this one works. We also have a hook on the bottom, the armor uh, rubber around it. We don't have a hook in the top here, but we have that same type of hook that we saw on the other two lanterns. So I like this because 
instead of those three double A's in the bottom, now we have one of these 18650 lithium ion batteries that uh, this happens to be a 2600 milliamp hour battery from Streamlight. And the really cool thing, why they call this the Siege X USB, is we have a little USB port where you can plug a micro USB cable in and charge this battery. So uh, you don't have to carry a separate charger with you. Anything you have to charge a phone, you can hook up the USB to charge this 18650 battery. I really like this. At 7.2 ounces, it's a whole lot easier to carry than the big Super Siege, which was already half the size and weight of a fuel oil lantern or a propane lantern. Every few years, it seems like things get lighter and smaller. We see that here. It's about a two-year difference between the Siege AA and the Siege X USB. So I'm anxious to see what happens in a couple years. But for now, I really like this Siege X USB rechargeable LED lantern. I've used this at, I'm a scout leader, so I've used it at summer camp, used it around the house, in the garage, working on the Humvee. I've used it quite a bit. Absolutely love this. All right, 7.2 ounces. It's a little heavy for most backpacking trips, but if it's a trip where I expect we're going to be sitting around as a group doing something where we need some light, this may be one of the more efficient ways to provide that. So I have actually carried it on a backpacking trip before, which is kind of odd for me, but it's got that much utility as a focus beam light and a lantern that it kind of made sense to do that. Let me know what questions you have. I'll put a link in the description to the written review article that'll have all the specs for this, as well as links to where you can purchase it if you think this is gonna be a good product for you. Thanks for checking us out. Please like, subscribe, check out the rest of the Gear Report channel. Go check us out at gearreport.com. We'd love to see you there. And all the different social media, we're all over the place. Anywhere you find us, please say hi. We'd love to interact and see what we can do to help you. Until next time, we'll see you on the trail. Thank you.